Time to let the cruiserweights cruiser with what happened on my universe mode. We're still in Wheeling, West Virginia because WWE 2K20 is broken. It's time for 205 Live opening the show. We have a match featuring Sin Cara. He's taking on the debuting Umberto Carrillo. The opening block of offense came from Sin Cara who hit a head scissors and a jawbreaker on Carrillo. He then rammed him into the corner post and slammed him down also. But then came the reversal. Umberto took control of a hurricane runner and a lazy code red. He went to the top rope and came down with a corkscrew arm drag. He then went for a suplex, but that was wriggled out of by Sin Cara, who came back with a drop kick and a beautiful standing Spanish fly. After eating a Northern Light suplex from Sin Cara, Umberto Guerrero was able to reverse and hit a clothesline. He followed that up with the glitchiest handspring elbow you'll ever see and a glorious elbow drop off the top rope. Guerrero continued with an acai moonsault. He then slammed down Sin Cara, hit him with another moonsault, this time off the second rope. He went for a kick, but Sin Cara dodged it and returned with a Hurricane Rana and a crucifix. Sin Cara nailed a picture-perfect drop kick on Carrillo, but after chopping him, Carrillo chopped back and took control once again, hitting a huge power bomb, a missile drop kick. He went for a moonsault. Sin Cara thought he'd dodged, but ended up getting moonsaulted anyway. And then he finished it all off with the Aztec press. He went for the pin, and Sin Cara was defeated. One, two, three. A debut win for Umberto Carrillo. In the next match, we saw the Cruiserweight Champion, Akira Tozawa. He was not defending the title tonight. Instead, he was just having a standard singles match against the man with a plan. It's the Brian Kendrick. The pair traded chops to start the match before Akira Tozawa took control when he dodged a drop kick. He hit a move but then posed off and was caught posing by Brian Kendrick who then lifted him up for a reverse suplex. Brian Kendrick hit an enziguri before getting reversed by Akira Tozawa. He nailed a back suplex and a big diving crossbody off the top rope, a DDT and a hurricane runner after that and a meteora. It was all going right for him and after a brain buster he hit Trouble in Paradise. However, Tozawa took a break from the offense following that as he got clotheslined by Brian Kendrick. Kendrick took him to the top rope, hit a hurricane runner, and then a big boot for some reason, but he was able to reverse once more Tozawa, and then instead of continuing the offense, he just hit him with that snap German suplex that he likes to finish matches with, and got the pinfall win. Your winner, the cruiserweight champion, Akira Tozawa. After the match, he celebrated, and Brian Kendrick did that same old cutscene that we've had a lot of recently. He walked away looking disappointed. On to our main event, and it's a number one contenders match for that cruiserweight championship as Tony Nice is facing off against not only Kalisto, but he's also taking on the greatest, greatest love I've ever known, Mike Kanellis in a triple threat match. This one began with Tony Nese scrunching Mike Kanellis immediately. He then hit a pump handle slam on Kalisto, but then walked into a clothesline from Kanellis. Kanellis hit a shin breaker on Nice, but then got caught with a Kalisto spinning heel kick. Next up, Nice clotheslined Kalisto, but then got caught by an ace crusher from Kanellis. Kanellis went to the top rope, went to hit a crossbody on Tony Nice, but ended up hitting Kalisto, which allowed Tony Nice to grab him from behind and hit a dirty German suplex. Kanellis took a break on the outside, then came back in all guns blazing, was able to get a bit of sustained offense. And I'm going to take this opportunity to catch up with the action. Afterwards, though, Kalisto was able to reverse Irish whip him and hit him with a deja vu DDT. After a stomp on Canellis, Kalisto got hit with a big elbow and clothesline from Tony Nice. He plunked him in the corner and hit him with a nasty looking running Nice. But with Nice's back turned, Canellis picked him up and punched him hard when he put him back down. He chucked Nice to the outside, but then got caught by Kalisto with a crucifix who did the same to Tony Nice. Kalisto aimed a kick to the back of Tony Nice, but then got caught with a reversal and a huge running crossbody by Nice. However, Nice did not see Canellis behind him who grabbed him and hit him with his own version of the crossroads. He went for the pin and got the win. Mike Kanellis is the number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. And we got to hear that sweet, sweet music one more time. That's it for another edition of What Happened on My Universe Mode. Like and subscribe, Smackdown next.